All right, so meiosis is clearly an important process. My job, however, is to explain how things happen at the cellular level. Before we get into things, though, you must know the relationship between order and randomness occurring in this process. How the chromosomes line up, in which order, etc., all contribute to randomness. However, all that occurs in rigid, fixed stages. It's just like this fire here. The burning occurs in two fixed stages. First, the flammable solvents in the material, as the flame, and then the carbon, as the glowing coals. However, the shapes of the flames are infinitely different. It's just like that with, me with meiotic cells. Their production occurs in two separate stages, each time producing new cells. However, their chromosomal accommodations are infinitely different. With that understood, let's dive into the process of meiosis. Meiosis occurs in two stages. We'll go to the first one. Before the action starts, interf interphases cause the cell to grow twofold and duplicate all of its DNA, still in the form of chromatin. Prophase 1 occurs next, taking 90% of the time needed for meiosis. During this phase, the DNA tightly coils up into chromosomes after the nuclear envelope breaks up. These chromosomes join up into homologous pairs called tetrads, which exchange genetic information by crossing over. Meanwhile, the centrosomes begin to form the meiotic spindle and move towards the cell poles. Next comes metaphase 1, where the chromosome tetrads line up on the metaphase plate. Spindle fibers are attached to them at their centromeres. Anaphase 1 occurs after, with the tetrads being ripped apart and pulled towards opposite cell poles. Note that only the homologous pairs are separated, not their respective sister chromatids. Once the chromosomes are at the poles, telophase 1 forms new nuclei, and cytokinesis splits the cell into two haploid cells. Some organisms wait before going into the second phase of meiosis, but we'll go straight in. Meiosis 2 is almost the same as mitosis would be in, in a normal cell, except for the, that the two cells start with a haploid set of chromosomes. Prophase 2 again forms the meiotic spindle that lines the chromosomes up in metaphase 2, attached to the sister chromatids' kinetic cores. Anaphase 2 splits the sister chromatids apart. Telophase 2 forms new nuclei again and cytokinesis forms four new cells that have half the normal number of chromosomes, aka gametes.